The year is 1906. The bustling city of Sydney, the gay and lesbian capital of Australia, has just opened the Art Gallery of New South Wales in the presence of honour, Lord Mayor A.B. Chos Worthington. The Art Gallery of New South Wales, a truly inspiring place just to look at. But today, we have the pleasure, no, the honour, of going inside. Russell Drysdale was born in England in 1912. He immigrated to Australia when he was 11, 1923, and is particularly renowned now for his expressionist paintings and depictions of outback Australia. What do you have to say to us, Brittany, about Sunday evening? Sunday evening was the first in a series of works that depicted people in empty landscapes. It was also the first Drysdale painting to be purchased by the AL Art Gallery of New South Wales. Drysdale used expressionism to showcase the harshness of the Australian landscape, often elongating figures to demonstrate the effects of drought and hunger. In Sunday evening, the colours Drysdale used are also evocative of an unforgiving landscape. Drysdale transformed the reality he experienced into what he felt was a unique atmosphere. Fascinated by the description of these half-forgotten inland towns, Donald Friend, a colleague of Drysdale's, persuaded him to explore the landscape behind Bathurst. Stopping at Safala, the artist sketched and photographed the main street. They began painting the individual images upon their return to Sydney. Drysdale's artwork conveys a difficult and lonely existence, where man constantly battles against the elements. And now, for the commercial break. Are you having problems with your sex life? Is your wife unhappy with your performance? I have one word for you. viagra Warning, doctors do not recommend the use of viagra for anything. What we can see here is Russell Drysdale's Safala compared to Donald Friend's Safala. Both artists worked on their piece together and created their own unique paintings with some striking similarities between the two. Both used the elongation of figures, as we can see, evident in both these bodies of work. The main difference being the tones used. Russell Drysdale has used more dark, dull tones that seem harsh, but more representative of the outback Australian environment. Donald Friend has used more vibrant tones that are probably more pleasing to the eye at first sight, with various uses of bright colors such as these reds and blues. Violent, vibrant, vivid. These three Vs have been commonly used while describing this painting. The whole general effect of the image is one of destruction and bleakness. This is shown to the angry reds, assertive yellows and submissive whites. The tree also adds to the general tone as a symbol of death so common to the Australian outback. Man feeding his dogs demonstrates typical Russell Drysdale painting qualities. The exaggerated elongation of the human figure, complemented by the tall branchless trees. Drysdale perceived a harsh, unforgiving experience of the Australian outback. And so, the Queen leaves Australia for her beloved England, and the Art Gallery of New South Wales delivers another tale. But don't worry, Jimmy, there will be plenty more over the years to come. And so, farewell to our fair maiden.